She stays on her position in the racetrack. And as they sort of up and round behind, we've got one around. That's car 41. He's cleared out. Back to Abby Smith doing a good job in the 25 car. We've got 23 facing the wrong way. That's Harry Fowler. I'll stick with these two, four cars here. It's Harry Fowler and a little bit of a nudge between a couple of cars behind him. And it was the 68 car. Shay Taylor who came in contact with uh, Jake Kimber. Both cars up on the infield as the white flag is being displayed, but that will allow Harry Fowler and McDonald big gap back to Logan Hill and the other one behind him now would be Brody Hollingham, who's car 19 up at ease. That's the way they complete the first lap of their journey, and we've got a couple uh, who's hard in a little bit of fence. As we said, they just leave them there. One turning around on the lane straight away. And it's Chris Wilson. Have a look at them now. In hot pursuit, the one up high is Calamo. Calamo gets a little bit of fresh air down the Wilson. Peter Thompson, Gordon Madolai. Wilson in trouble down the back straight away. Leads them into turn one and two. And as they head out towards the back straight away, he's got Travis Hutchison very, very close behind him now under the control tower and head down the back straight. Luke Franken opens a little bit of a gap between himself and Travis Hutchison as Neil Kalbulis has the door well and truly shut on him. Now with Travis Hutchison, Franken gets it all wrong this time. Hutchie possibly up on the infield a little bit and that might... Uh, incur some problems with the steward and I think uh, the band are up as he throws it through turns three and four. Scotty in hot pursuit down the main straight away. Michael Larson holds his wheel. Jaden Hancock is going to drive around the outside up the main straight away. The tail and touch and uh, oh dear. Something gave way underneath the Curtis Peel car. As the light goes green and Carter Armstrong, Gary Pagel together into turn number one and two. Gary Pagel gets the thing mobile. Can he pull it up? Just as it goes through, he got a tunnel. Wow. Need a bit of uh, Tim Walter would be the next one and then Michael Jenner. Down the back straight away, Carter Armstrong, three and four, car 48 tucked in there in position, number three is in fact Mike Foley. So Bayerhead is quite okay in this group, watch as they come down the back, can he get close enough to give him another nudge, move out of the way buddy, here I come, car 48 goes into the race lead, number three they put a lap on one of the other cars. Car 32 is about to turn in front of the field. Time around, right up high on the fence he goes. Stu Jeffries is still in position, number two. And I think you'll find that it's the 13 car of Steve Bateman who holds on to three. Got him upside down. sorts of trouble is Fletcher Smith and their three wide behind uh, Brandon Howe to take the white flag with only one to go. Levi O'Brien underneath the canteen he goes but still chasing hard is Tyson Jennings. Letting him get away Tyson Jennings is still chasing hard and the lead car has uh, Whoa, done something. It just went a right-hand turn. Sun straight down the inside. 
had the door shot on him now, so he had to back off. But he will go down the back straight away in last position after getting himself in all sorts of trouble. Three wide as they crossed the, uh, the starting row, and we got a little bit of push and shove. And how's your father here? It's car of Alex Jenner. That's the way they career down the back straight away, and that's the zero. Michael Jenner, the race leader. Uh, Steve Van Zeeland, and we got a problem inside of him in turn number one and two as they head down the back straight away. Armstrong climbs over the front of the car. And uh, Steve Van Zeeland in Army's gone high on the track again. Trying to go around the outside of Gordon Madolo. Madolo knows he's there, fights back down up on a big angle but manages to hold on to his position. That should be, I think we heard something give Kerry McIntosh, the race leader. Stephen Foster's around, oh, we got an upside down and that's the way we need the Ambo. Open the gate please, let him in. And car is also in there, that's AJ McDonald as they go under the tower once again. Down the back chute, have a look at the car. High on the racetrack, we got one in trouble up against the fence in turn number two. And they are running away with this one as uh, another car pulls itself onto the infield. And... Uh, Got rid of Peter Thompson. He had it upside down earlier in the night. Bit of pick and barge and push and shove, and that's what happens. Well, I know they go in four, they go to the better of Tim Walter. Back behind them then is Van Zeeland, who's got himself hooked up here. With uh, Carter Armstrong, Armstrong gets rid of him onto the infield, but a race leader, Darren Kane, down the main straight away, and Van Zeeland finds himself on the infield again, and a yellow Armstrong, Armstrong moving up right on the tail and then drives into him, and gets an airborne on the infield as the uh, rest of the field go by and he goes back out.